So I've got my cut and fill exhibit how I want. It looks good. It looks uh, presentable. But now I want to add some labels to it. I want to see um, a label in here that shows me that difference uh, across the grid. Um, one thing I can do, and I'm going to come to my settings tab under surface and label styles and spot elevation. You know, I can label it with just an elevation. Um, just will tell me the difference in the two. It'll say minus one, minus two, or one and two. But I want to go a little bit further past that point. I want to create an extended cut and fill that will say finished ground equals this, existing ground is this, and the difference in the two is this. So I'm going to start out by using this cut and fill label. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go to copy. We're going to create a new label. Um, I'm going to call it cut and fill labels. I'm just going to call it extended. That way I know it has extended data to it. I'm going to go to my layout tab. And again, you can see right now it's just the one label called surface elevation. But in here, I want to call it, I'm going to change the name to FG. It's going to target my finished ground. So on the contents of that, I also want to make a couple of changes. Just going to say FG equals and make sure the precision is what I want it to be. I want it to go out to two decimals. Okay, I'm going to add that in over there and hit OK. So I've got my first one in. Now I want to create the second component reference text uh, to my existing ground. I've got my finished ground. I want my existing ground surface. I hit OK. I'm going to change the name of that to EZ for existing ground. Under the contents, I'm going to select the contents and do EG equals. And again, to my surface elevation, precision, I'm just going to do, let's do one decimal and hit over. Okay. And with our component stacking, we want to make sure that's stacked correctly. So I want to stack my EG to, I want to stack my EG to my FG using my FG's bottom left and my EG's top left, creating that uh, label style. So I want a third component now. I want to see the difference in the two. So I'm going to go back to reference text, reference that surface, and we want to name this difference. So I want to see the difference in the two. Under the contents in my label text, I want to get to rid of that junk and just put in surface elevation, and I just want, again, a precision of, of one decimal. I'm going to hit over. I don't want to see any anything before that label, so I just want to see the number. I'm just going to hit OK. And again, stack these correctly. So now I'm going to stack it to my EG using the bottom left and my new object's top left. You know, and maybe I want a color to it. Let's do a pretty blue color there. Okay, so I'm going to have e, FG, EG, and the difference. I'm going to hit OK. So I'm going to go up to Surfaces, Add Surface Labels, and the label type I want to use is Spot Elevation on Grid. Make sure that I have my Cut and Fill Extended Label option selected. I'm just going to hit Add. Uh, the first surface I want to select is my finished ground. This is going to reference three different objects. The first one in the list is the one I want to pick, so I'm just going to go finished ground and hit OK. So just like Land Desktop, it's going to ask me to specify grid point, usually the bottom left. Uh, grid rotation, I'm going to leave it zero. Grid spacing for this example, let's, uh, let's do 25 feet. 25 feet. And the upper right, again, that area that I want to label is going to be my grid. Uh, I'm going to hit enter for no. So I've already selected my finished ground. That's the first object. And now it prompts me to select the surface for the label style EG. So I'm just going to right click and go existing ground. Now select a surface for my label style difference. I'm going to check, select my volume and hit OK. Give it a second here. And it's going to go through and label this surface with a finished ground elevation, with an existing ground elevation, and a difference in the elevation. So I can quickly and easily come in here with the power of this template, create label styles, create visual styles, and have a really nice, neat cut and fill exhibit.